Hello, and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is Every Small Win Matters. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. Success is the sum of small efforts, repeated day in and day out. What does that mean to us? It means we have to keep trying. We have to keep putting in effort before we're going to see any kind of results and rewards of success. So many of us think small. We think in terms of what is possible. When we think about what's possible, we create futures based on our past and by what we've already done. When you have an impossible goal, you must work towards believing it. We want to start identifying with ourselves from our future and practice believing in that goal. What is impossible now will be possible later. You want to have that big goal out in front of you so you have a reason to endure the failures. You want to have a reason to keep going when the results and the evidence aren't there. We always seem to want evidence and proof that something will work in order to believe in it. We're usually willing to believe in impossible goals only as long as the evidence comes quickly. So how do we bridge that gap between this impossible goal that we have for ourselves and our immediate reality? All impossible goals are created on a pile of failures. You have to start each day with the willingness to fail. Not failing in taking the necessary action, but in realizing the result that you want to create. Continue to take action, to believe in your impossible goal, and be willing to fail until you get there. When we commit to believing in our goal, even though it's impossible, and we release having to know the exact how to get there, then we can start taking action. Just take the next action based on where you are today. If you don't get results right away, shift your focus back to your belief in the goal and in yourself, then take the next action. Even though you're failing because the results aren't there yet, you're still moving forward. If you just keep taking your next best action, all of those tiny little steps lead to the ultimate big step. Think of your goal, get excited about it, create a vision, and then do the little task that is in front of you today. That is how you will get there. Robert Collier said, success is the sum of small efforts. Repeated day in and day out. There's a Chinese proverb that says, The man who removes a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Robert Louis Stevenson said, Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Now let's hear the story of caring for turtles. Every Sunday morning, I take a walk around a park near my home. There's a lake located in one corner of the park. Each time I walk by this lake, I see the same elderly woman sitting at the water's edge with a small metal cage sitting beside her. This past Sunday, I decided to stop and walk over to her. As I got closer, I realized that the metal cage was a small trap. There were three turtles slowly walking around the base of the trap. She had a fourth turtle in her lap, 
that she was carefully scrubbing with a spongy brush. Hello, I said. I see you here every Sunday morning. I'm very curious, and I'd love to know what is going on with these turtles. She smiled. I'm cleaning off their shells, she replied. She continued, anything on a turtle's shell, like algae or scum, reduces the turtle's ability to absorb heat and impedes its ability to swim. It can also corrode and weaken the shell over time. Are you employed by the Parks Department? Why are you working here on a Sunday? I asked her. She answered, no, I'm retired. I spend a couple of hours each Sunday morning relaxing by this lake and helping these little guys out. It's my own little way of making a difference. I had very little knowledge of turtles, but I had read something once that popped into my mind and brought it up with her. But don't most freshwater turtles live their whole lives with algae and scum hanging from their shells, I asked. Yes, that's true, unfortunately, she replied. I thought about her impossible task some more. Your efforts are kind and your intentions are beautiful, but there are freshwater turtles living in lakes all around the world. I would guess that 99% of these turtles don't have people like you to help them clean off their shells. What's the point? She asked me without taking her eyes off the turtle in her lap. That's it exactly, I replied. What is the point? Statistically speaking, all this work you do every Sunday really isn't making any difference. The woman chuckled as she scrubbed off the last piece of algae from the turtle's shell. Looking up at me with one hand shading her eyes from the sun, she said, If this little guy could talk, he'd tell you I just made all the difference in the world. She explained, When I retired, I felt like my work was done and I just didn't matter to anyone anymore. Then I came to this park and saw these turtles and realized they needed me. That's when I decided to wake up every morning and act like what I do makes a difference. Then, pretty soon, I understood that every kind act and selfless deed I do makes a difference, not just to these turtles, but to me. So what do you think? Do you believe that every action you take makes a difference and is worth doing? What impossible goal are you working on a little every day? What small wins can you celebrate today? Every time we set a goal for ourselves, it's important to keep track of where we're at on our way to that goal where we've already come from, and all the things we've already accomplished, and to celebrate every small win. When we do that, we encourage ourselves to continue to work towards that goal. Every goal that feels impossible today is something we can still try to accomplish by taking small actions toward that goal every day. I'm sure if you look at where you are right now and think about where you were 10 years ago, you'll see that you didn't realize the things that you would have accomplished in the last 10 years, 10 years ago. So together, let's think about some goals that we can plan, something that feels a little bit impossible today, but maybe in a few years is going to be totally possible. And let's take a little bit of action every day to get there. That's going to help not only the world around us, but ourselves as well, to grow and evolve. Thank you so much for watching today's Storytelling Therapy, Every Small Win Matters. And I'll see you again very soon. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation 
and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.